What's up, everybody? It's the Roundtable Sports Podcast, and we're in week 15, taking a look at Marcus Mariota. You know, Derek Carr got hurt early in this game, came up limp on a groin injury, didn't look great. I mean, didn't look all that bad either necessarily, but didn't seem like he was going to be back for the game. So I'm kind of counting on Marcus Mariota to make a start here, and it certainly doesn't look like it's going to hurt Darren Waller or the premium options that they have in this offense, which actually is just Darren Waller. But at the same time, he looked good enough to actually get things done. And with the emphasis on quarterbacks being more mobile by the NFL this year, it was a great time to get Mariota and dust the cobwebs off. Now, to claim that every one of his throws was perfect would be a misnomer, absolutely. He did make a couple of bad throws in there, too. But the increased amount of mobility that he has, it changes the way that the defense has to guard this offense. And I think it could give it a little juice. Now, if they force him to be a pocket passer, that's one thing. And it's not like the Chargers were prepared to have him take the field. So you got to take this performance with a grain of salt, but it was encouraging for the Raiders that he did add a different element that David Carr had not to this point. And when he shows to be serviceable as a passer, in addition to having such good running ability, it's a situation for success. Now, whether he can keep it going, eh, it's hard to say. He hasn't had sustained success in the NFL to this point, but it seemed like he was always hurt, and it didn't seem like he was running this hard. You know, sometimes quarterbacks run just because they have to, but it seemed like he was running with a purpose and running hard, and it seemed like he had enough speed to run away from defensive linemen, as well as some of the linebackers. That's a big deal in today's NFL, especially when offensive lines aren't offering the same type of pockets that they used to offer quarterbacks. Now, like I said, he's not typical, and there's going to be some throws that make you shake your head, but at the same time, I think he offers them enough that going forward with him shouldn't hurt the fantasy options, and I'm kind of interested to see what he brings to the offense. I enjoy good quarterback play, and to see if he can offer it to the Raiders, I'm interested in that.